what is happening guys uh, today's a little bit different of a video we normally do a lot of behind the scenes stuff like any youtube channel does that you guys don't get to see and uh i figured that kind of stuff puts us behind because we're doing work that we're not filming and unfortunately it's probably stuff you guys would want to see so uh we're going to show you basically this is our test cart this is a streaker go-kart that we built just to test engines out on because we do a lot of engine builds and Sometimes the engine we're building is going on a certain project and it's going to take a few more weeks or even a month before it goes on that project. So we had a nice frame to be able to slap on uh, the engines onto to test them for the video. Well, the only downside of that is no suspension sucks. We're spoilt now with suspension go-karts and this one beats you to death. So basically we can only show you footage of the new engine that we've built in a field or something and that's no fun. You know, it was okay for the videos we've done it in, but we can't continue to do that or it's going to get boring so today we're going to be stripping this cart down we're going to take the axle off uh, the wheels and tires and the engine and the battery and gas tank intact we're basically going to leave it as a chassis ready for paint and if you was to buy like an axle and stuff you'd be ready to go but uh basically go power sports is super behind right now they're trying to push out orders as fast as possible their uh, par orders are coming in late so they're out of stock on some stuff uh, so if you have ordered anything from go power sports please give them time they're working their absolute hardest uh, it's just we're in weird times right now so uh, instead of putting them further behind sending us parts uh, we decided to take apart this because we need the axle and rear wheels and tires for the odyssey so that's what we're going to be doing i'm just going to strip this thing down uh, to get ready to do the odyssey video again you guys would have never known this even happened um if we wouldn't have put these little behind the scenes videos whatever you want to call them so uh, we had to push the buggy over there and we got to cram it back in its hole for a little bit because we got to get this odyssey done then we got to get randy's jerf dog done then it's buggy time non-stop till it's done we got a carb on the way we got a bunch of stuff to do to it so uh we'll throw you on a tripod and uh, do a time lapse of pulling this thing apart
So that took less than an hour to tear down that cart. Uh, pretty simple when you have a few power tools. But uh, we got the engine. We're going to shelf for now because we got to order that marine cam for it. Uh, now the marine cam for the big blocks is supposed to make max torque from like 2500 to 5500 RPM. Uh, it's a good uh, go kart. Like if you got a buggy with a 420, 440, or a 460 on it, that is the cam to go with if you want low end torque. The rest of this stuff, like if anybody's local and would like to buy this cart the way it sits, so basically you need a set of front rims and tires, you'd need an axle sprocket, brake rotor, and uh, hubs and rear tires for the rear. Um, we would sell this for a really good deal. Uh, don't know how much yet, I'm gonna try to think of what I have in it and then sell it for that. But it'd be a good little yard cart for someone to have that'll hold all the way up to a V-twin. It should fit a V-twin. We never try to put one on it, but uh, we are leaving the hydraulic brakes on it. So it's really ready to go if you just threw those parts on it. So let us know uh, if you're local. Maybe hit us up on Instagram or something. Let us know if you're local and want to purchase this. We're going to put it up for sale because we no longer want it. Uh, and for me to put all the parts on it to make it a driving go-kart is just stupid because no one wants to pay for go-karts in my area normally. So it'd be a waste of my time and money. So uh, now we have to go on to the next one so so i left my main camera at the uh the new shop but it took longer to pull this axle apart than it did that whole entire go-kart so what took so long all this stuff was super easy that was no problem but now we've been welding these um go power sports hubs to the brake rotor so this is what a welded one looks like you know i weld all the way around it on both sides i think on both sides anyways Nope, just on one side. But anyways, that keeps it from ever, like on the CR80 track, we lost some bolts out of that on the sprocket. So we uh, fixed that by welding now. And our sprocket hub, you can see where we had to hammer it off. It's all chewed up. Look at the key out of that thing. So this is what the 30 horsepower Duro Max did to this uh, quarter inch key. This was after only less than 30 minutes of riding this is the same problem we ran into with randy's 625 it did the same exact thing so we end up welding randy's sprocket hub his had a a hub set up and we welded it to the actual axle so we never have to worry about keys failing uh you know when you get about 25 horse or more really big blocks any kind of performance parts on them you're going to start running into this problem with big tires the sprocket we're going with on this odyssey this is a uh, i don't know if it's machined out of a solid piece no it's welded but it has a real wide hub on it instead of where that one it only has probably half inch to three quarter inch worth of key this one will have inch and a quarter but i still think it almost needs welded on uh, just so we don't have any other problems like this yeah that's crazy 30 minutes of riding 30 horsepower Duramax, just riding in the field too. Hit that on the test car, uh, broke this thing in half like that. This is like this third key we've had this uh, happen to. So it sucked beating that sprocket off with that key like that. So now we're gonna clean up that axle and uh, get it ready to go on the old Odyssey.
read your Bible, watch videos of my dad. So, bibby bop.